saw Mr. Krabs. You're seeing things, SpongeBob. All this desert must be giving you sand brain. Activity. The little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. Put up a sign or something. No more chafing. I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a, a goose. I see, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. We've gone this way yet. It's so dark. Howdy, 
this, changelings? What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost! It's all mine! We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir! Our friend Soda depends on it! Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want! There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get! Good! That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold! Knocks my shiny tooth out! Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! I'm crying! Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me, I swear. You'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. 